most wonderful time of the year. Back off, Santa. We're not talking about you. We're talking about Halloween today. It's now culinary time with Miss Death. Hey everyone, Miss Death here. Today I'm making for you candy corn jello shots. A recipe that I found through That's So Michelle. So some of the ingredients you're going to need for this is first you're going to get some oranges here. You're going to cut them in half and then gut them out. And we're going to set those aside once you've done that. Some of the other few ingredients we're going to need is orange jello, Knox gelatine, coconut milk, a fourth cup of sugar. Now the recipe calls for whipped vodka, however I like to put my own spin on it and I like to use orange vodka and coconut rum. So now we're going to begin our project. So first we're going to make our jello here as you can see. We're going to boil our water and now that that water is boiled we're going to add in our orange jello. The orange is our first layer of the candy corn jello shot. So we're going to stir here until the jello is fully dissolved. Boil, boil, boil in trouble. So I think it's fully dissolved. Now what we want to do is grab our vodka and we're going to add in a cup of our vodka. Alright, now let's add a cup of our vodka here. Now I don't usually measure it out because I like to just add in basically more than a cup of vodka there. You know, you get the real good flavor in there. But I always say the more the better. So now that our orange layer is done here. We're going to add these in to our orange peels. So now what you need to do is make sure we fill up these about halfway each into our orange layer. Into our jello shot. And then once you have, oh shit, <laughs> oopsies, that happens every now and then, but once you have your orange slices here halfway filled, we're going to now put them in the fridge for two to three hours. Two hours later. All right, so it has been about two hours and our first layer has now been firm enough so we can now start our second layer. All right, now to begin our second layer, what we need to do is put in a half a cup of water. And then we're putting in a half a cup of coconut milk. We're gonna stir that up a little bit. And then we're going to add our Knox gelatin to it and we're going to let it now sit for a minute just like this on top. All right now that it's been a minute what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on now to medium heat. We're going to stir until it's nice and dissolved and it's warmed up a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
once that's warmed up enough and it's been dissolved, we're going to add in our fourth cup of sugar. And then stir that in until that dissolves just like so. Now that the sugar has dissolved, we're going to add, it calls for a half a cup of vodka, or vodka, but again, I do like to add coconut rum to this second layer. And I'm supposed to add about a half a cup, but I'm just gonna pour until my little heart desires there. And that looks like that should be good enough. And then I'm just gonna mix it a little bit in there. And now we are ready to add our second layer to our jello shots, or to our orange. Now we are ready to add our second layer to the oranges here. Let's begin that part. And then we're just gonna take it and just fill up to the top there, to the rest of each orange. Just like so. All right, and Voila, you have your second layer, and now you're going to put them in the fridge overnight, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow. All right, so our jello shots have now sat overnight, and as you can see, this is the outcome of what they look like. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take them, and we're going to cut it into four. As you can see here the completed jello shot project you can now see the orange and the white layer in here all right that concludes today's segment leave a comment down below with any ideas of what you might want to see me do next time or even if you want me to continue to do culinary time and then remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already see you next time